It's been a difficult year for Snapchat so far. The once favored social media app is on the downfall and it could mean the end of Snapchat as we know it. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Are you guys still using Snapchat? What do you think of the new redesign? Let me know in those comments. Snapchat was once thought to be the successor of Facebook, but it seems that title has been taken away. In the first quarter of 2018, Snapchat's shares fell a record 21% and the number of active users only increased by 2%. That's not a lot for an app that was supposed to be the future of social media. The reason for this seems to be over the new redesign, as well as Instagram releasing their own stories feature. People are now deleting Snapchat in favor of Instagram because it seems like people don't want to bother they're navigating a difficult new design. Users called the update cluttered and confusing. It's harder to share posts with friends and track incoming messages. To add more fuel to the fire, huge celebrities like Kylie Jenner announced that Snapchat was over. And then there was that whole controversy with Rihanna where Snapchat featured an ad that seemed to make fun of her history of domestic violence with Chris Brown. Yeah, that was, that was not good. There was even a change.org petition that had over a million signatures on it, where Snapchat users begged them to change it back. Despite all this backlash, Snapchat Snapchat knows people are not liking the new design and they aren't doing anything about it. But it's not just Snapchat's users that are not down with the new design. It's especially concerning for publishers and advertisers who use Snapchat who thought investing in it would be a smart idea. Publishers are how Snapchat makes its money. And now that people are not using Snapchat as often, there seems to be no reason to continue advertising with the app. Why pay money to advertise on a dead app? The history of companies who changed their model is littered with examples of dead platforms. MySpace was the biggest until Facebook came around, but MySpace was declared dead after they decided to be more focused on music rather than being a social media platform, which is what they were. Coca-Cola once experienced a lot of backlash in 1985 when they reformulated, but they switched back after a huge amount of backlash and then their sales just exploded. Are all of these examples not enough to convince Snapchat that maybe the redesign is not good and could mean the end of the once popular app. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you on that. Let me know what you think of this story in the comments. While you ponder that, I'm gonna respond to some comments from previous videos. Sketchy Place said, first I started watching IO, then my sister, then my mom, then my dad, then my whole family. Oh, a whole family of potatoes. I love it. Dasalt said, Charlotte, why does your dress look like a towel? Maybe I wanted to wear a towel to work. Hmm? Hmm? Elena Smith said, hi, my name's Elena. I just wanna know who's your favorite singer? Bet you won't answer. You lost that bet. My favorite singer is Ella Fitzgerald. That is all folks, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, do me a favor and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That was three favors, but just do it. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you that's right over here. By the way, we've got social media, we got Instagram, we got Facebook, we got Twitter, no Snapchat. All our links are posted in the description of this video, so make sure you follow us for updates and behind the scenes content. That's it for me, see you in the next video.